Uh, yeah, last night I started playing a little bit. Whoa, what, what the heck? What's this about? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Like, she just smashed it into the wall and it just went into a vortex? Like, but yeah, I see a lot of people like trade. Oh, look. Okay, so yeah, that is summoning it. Look, she just summoned it. Damn, she almost got sucked into a vortex. That's cool. All right. So they're they're doing trade packing right there. I got to get a boat, man. I was trying to look at the the materials needed to get a boat and it's pretty fucking expensive. Like I don't know, man. Like uh the, the, there's you, you know what's interesting is that this game doesn't really truly explain how to do shit. So you have to google it to figure it out. And then you google it and you find a YouTube video of some guy that doesn't they either don't explain it right or they explain it a little too thoroughly and it's like whoa too much information tmi you know like so i i don't i don't really like i don't want to sit through a 30 minute video and then the other guy's doing a one minute video and it's like yo it's too short now i don't know how, how you even did what you did see this is why i'm, I'm not very observant and it's kind of hard to see things you see look peanut right here See, like, it's it's not like in other MMOs where it will be glowing or there'll be something showing on top of it to show you that you can gather it. You know, in this game, it's it's like you'll you'll just miss it easily. So if you're not actively looking for the thing, oh, what's this? Not enough organic fertilizer. Bolted peanuts. Oh no, I don't want to uproot it. All right, that's kind of random. Oh, same thing with this. I I really like that like people actually have like actual jobs and stuff like there's people farming and that's all they do and they they make mad money doing that or they own like plots of land and or they they just ship things that's all they do is ship things from one continent to the next like it's pretty cool shit like this game is like 20,000 different games in one pretty crazy like the last time I was uh I was just gathering a bunch of like it was like rocks i don't know like it was a bunch of like iron and shit like that and um i gathered about 300 of them and then i sold it on the auction house that shit instantly sell uh sold by the way and i made like four gold right like right there super fast i was like wow man and i was gaining xp for everything so like every time you you gather something you gain like 900 xp like you get way more xp than you would killing mobs so it's like less less stress too well, I mean, it's not really stressful to kill mobs. It's pretty easy, but still, it's like less effort. Like you're literally just running around, just gathering shit, and you get like triple the XP. So it's pretty awesome. I like that. Like, I was, I, I started to wonder. I was like, hmm, could could you possibly like level up a character from one to fifty-five by just only gathering? You know, I, you probably could. You probably definitely could. You know what i gotta you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna figure out how to get the equipment for things and then i'll make videos for sure on all that shit on like how to how to gather everything yourself how to do everything yourself that way you don't have to spend money on the auction house you know like because that was the thing that fucked me up is i i went on the auction house and um i wasted all that money i wasted like nine gold to craft a pack and it only made eight gold like i literally just lost the gold for no reason but i just wanted to test it out to see if it was worth it to do it that that way but i could see the trade pack thing being the way to gain good gold because uh, before that i mean it was that arc pass and the arc pass was obviously a little overpowered so they shut it down they're gonna rework it i i hope they rework it in a way that it's more like like other battle pass in, in other games you know like let's say for example like destiny 2 or or fortnite where they just give you skins or they give you like you know special little items and stuff like nothing that that has to do with like making um like increasing your chance in the game of like getting gold or anything like that like i feel like that that's just overpowered and that's just pay to win you know that lands up going into the pay to win world when you started throwing uh you know like they had gold on it it was obviously grinding out the battle pass was the best way to make gold like i i made a hundred a hundred gold like 
easily by just grinding the fuck out of the battle uh, the battle pass or whatever arc pass whatever they called it so yeah it's uh, definitely wasn't a good thing because it got to the point where i wasn't i wasn't actually enjoying the game like i i wasn't exploring anymore and i wasn't doing quests because i felt like the arc pass was the only way to go like that was literally the best way to make money and it's cool that they're listening to the community because um you know the the game that i i really played a lot before this was um space lords and then obviously before that was warframe and um those two companies were really good at, at listening to the community um space lords need some work but um at least with you know with warframe it was constant they were always listening but they weren't like bending over backwards for them either so it was it worked out like i, I really like that because when when uh developers bend over backwards that's where they fuck up because uh if you're listening to everybody especially the fucking whiny crybabies and uh, especially when it comes to nerfs and pvp and all that stupid shit like that that's the stuff that really ruins mmos is when when they uh when they really look closely and in-depthly into powers and they say oh this power does a little too much damage we gotta nerf it and then uh it just it gimps everything in the pve side so it's just not fun man it's not fun to have to deal with all that shit so um i'm always in favor of doing buffs over nerfs mainly because i just don't want to see my favorite characters turn the shit you know because at the end of the day, people are just going to land up rolling whatever the meta is. And then when the meta gets nerfed, they roll a new meta. Like, it, it's just, it's a non-stop cycle. There's always going to be something that's more overpowered than the next. So the only way to, like, balance it out is to buff the shit that sucks. You know? Buff the ones that suck. Like, that's literally the only way to fix it. And most developers don't do that. I, I've never seen a developer ever do that. So... I mean, if I was if I was gonna make my own video game, then that would be my way of doing it. If something is like super overpowered and you can see like it's stupid overpowered, then I can understand a nerf. But for the most part, most games have it pretty nice, and then they fuck with it too much and they ruin it. You know? Oh, and I got this fancy new uh, glider too. Let me uh, let me whip it out. Yeah. Look at that shit. And look, it has guns on it and shit, look. Yeah, sprinkle people. Look. See, it drops bombs, though. This shit's crazy. Yay, fireworks. <laughs> that shit is funny. <laughs> I saw the street light. Oh, gather a street light. Yeah. Shut that shit off. Fuck that light. <laughs> Man, there's like nothing to gather at all around here. Like I'm looking around. Oh, ebony tree. What's this? Uh, uproot. Fuck. Yeah, Call of Duty does look pretty decent, but I'm not buying that shit. <laughs> I'm too stubborn. I'll wait for um, Battlefield. I'm pretty sure the next Battlefield is gonna be a modern one. They don't fuck it up. It's still EA games. I fucking hate EA, but um. Dice is always really good with the Battlefield games, so I think I'd prefer that over Call of Duty. Activision just just burns like way too much. Like I, I really don't like Activision. Like I don't want to support them in any way, shape, or form. They're like enemy number one to me. I think Battlefield is is gonna do it better, cause uh, they've always done the open world shit a lot better. Cause I saw Call of Duty is trying to do that that whole Battlefield scene, like they're trying to add vehicles and stuff and. Uh, it's they're not gonna do it to the scale of battlefield though battlefield will take it to the next level up above there we go oh shit i'm farming oh shit oh shit it's a little too much oh no <laughs> oh shit these flamingos are pissed <laughs> they didn't like that shit oh man kiting Oh fuck. No flamingo, don't kill me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh man, that was super close. Oh, here we go, I'm getting attacked. Fucking son of a bitch. Where, 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 where? Ah, oh, god damn it. 
super ganked. You see that shit? What, what level is he? 7,000? Let me see. What, I, I can't even click on him. But he raped the fuck out of me, so I'm pretty sure that he was like super high level.